the very first loans that we issued, the very, very first ones, had weekly payments. From that day that we issued the first loans, we couldn't sleep for a while. Back then, microfinance was not known in Nicaragua. There was actually not much interest. And so we were all worried that these people might not show up the following week. We didn't even know how to evaluate them. I mean, we just knew that these were poor people that had businesses that needed money. The day came, we went and looked, and absolutely everyone, everyone had paid their loans. At that moment, we realized that people were serious about it. So then we became more committed because we saw in those people the hope that they had, and we joined them in this, this um, feeling that they had. And that felt so good. I mean, people also believed in what we were doing. Lines of people coming into our offices. I mean, hundreds of people outside asking for information. Somebody is giving out loans in this country. Somebody is trusting us. It was something that we, in, in our country we say it, it clicked. It, it, we felt that it clicked. It was very difficult at the beginning. Long days. We were actually building an institution. And to, to build an institution, you have to, to put that effort and you have to do it with passion. And that was like the common denominator that we all had. And now it's been 14 years. We've been operating with a non-for-profit organization mentality. And now we have to move on into a for-profit organization mentality, but not forgetting the main reason why we created this institution. That is the challenge now, to become regulated, to maintain our target market, and to grow and provide new services and new products to this clientele that we already have. We were born as a social institution with financial impact. Now we're becoming a financial institution with social impact. Once we receive the license to operate as a formal financial institution, the new era begins.